Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Candle Nurse. My name is Emily and I thank you guys for stopping by and checking out what I have for you um, in regards to home fragrance. So today I'm doing an empties video. It's the first one I've ever done because I don't do reviews as of right now. I figured this would, you know, spend a little bit of time on a video and go over candles that I have burned and I have some wallflowers in here too. So far that's what I use for my home fragrance and basically go over what my thoughts were. Without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, the first one I grabbed is Kringle's Marshmallow Morning. Um, this candle I actually bought on Mercari and I have a Mercari too that I sell on that I'll, I'll link my Mercari down, down below. I purchased this one on Mercari for fairly cheap. Um, these vessels go for $31 on Kringle candle and this is actually a candle if you can get any of these candles I will link link them down down below this one you can buy from Kringle it's $31 for this vessel it's hundred percent soy wax it's two wicks this isn't like super strong I would say that on cold when I open it this is like a five or six but this was a wonderful scent that I burned in my bedroom and it just gives like they have a picture of Lucky Charms. It it doesn't, like when I smell it, I don't think of Lucky Charms. But it is a delicious marshmallow, vanilla, sugar type scent. And Kringle really has a good way of doing like gourmand scents without making it too cloying or sickening or anything like that. So this was a wonderful candle. I got it off Mercari. I think it was $17. This one was brand new and yeah it, it's i actually have a medium sized two wick tumbler of this candle um and this is probably going to be something that i keep at least one in my collection i don't that's the only backup i have is that medium one that i got from the president's day sale but this one still has a good amount of fragrance in it the issue i have had with a couple of kringle candles when i'm burning them um the wicks do kind of well, this one did at least i don't know if you can see it but they kind of got like a little bit of the mushroom tops not too bad but those are something that you want to trim so my wick trimmers and scissors the one issue is it's very long vessel so i have an issue kind of getting in there to trim them and it caused me a candle that i ended up having to warm because i cut too short and it just was a puny wick and it wouldn't go so i was like i'm just gonna burn this with some of that um, carbon top on there and it didn't really change the wax at all. The wax is still creamy. It never threw like too much soot. Like if I run my finger in there, I'm sure we're gonna have a little bit. As this gets low and the heat doesn't have anywhere to go, it, it will cause some soot and that's just a candle burning for you. The issue I had with a couple of Kringle candles that I have burned, uh, specifically cherry chai, so now it's made me nervous, is the wicks get loose. Um, because these wicks are really good. I think they get really hot. And when this, this doesn't take very long to pull now that it's down here. And so it, it's pulled out for me. And then I worry about leaving it burning even when I'm home. And, and that just is too close for comfort. So if anything, it's just, it doesn't even smell soot. That's the other thing about Kringle candles is they don't, there's no soot smell. There's no burn smell to me. And you know, I put these out with the lid and, and there's candles that I do that with and you can smell burning. What I do do is as soon as I see the flame go out, I lift it off to let the smoke kind of go out. This one I just finished burning um, on the 29th. This is Bath & Body Works Lavender Marshmallow. This was um, a Candle Day 2023 from last year. It's a Candle Day exclusive that was for sale with the Candy Emporium, which was a candle I just didn't like with the blueberry lemon sour. And I think there was a caramel drizzle. I didn't get that one. At first when I smelled this, I was kind of thrown off because I've never had a lavender sweet smell. And at the same time, they had pink lavender espresso. And, and I was kind of like on the fence about that one too. However, these, as they burn, they're incredible. Like a lavender with a sweet like vanilla or um, like the marshmallow note. You guys, this was incredible. and. You know, it did the Bath & Body Works discoloration. I don't know if you can see, the purple is murky. But these were those wicks, the wicks that burn really well. So I had no issues with puny wicks on this candle. I know there's a lot of wax left over on the bottom. 
I, you know, if I didn't have so many candles, I would take the time and crock these. Where I think I went wrong with some of my Bath & Body Works candles that you'll see in here, sometimes when they have these really good wicks that burn but don't have like the mushroom, like I never trimmed this. They're already hot and I have hurricanes and I've just been nonchalantly as I'm learning about candles, placing candles in hurricanes. And what that does is I've learned is it, it also increases like I think the heat and also allows that fragrance to really pull up before it dissipates into the air and it will increase your your strength and throw of your candles what I found happening with Bath and Body Works candles is like this wasn't a light one it was like the strength and on cold was like a seven seven and a half and this thing filled up the house so I had originally put this in a hurricane and I think that was a mistake. So I really have to pay attention because what I'm noticing is I had this happen to a couple candles. This one held on to fragrance, but my blueberry lemon sour and strawberry pound cake and ice lemon pound cake, it's like halfway through, they, they just got completely sooty in the middle and then there was no fragrance. There was still literally half of the candle left and there'd be no fragrance left and it was like smelling really good in the beginning. Once I relit another candle of strawberry pound cake outside of the hurricane, it, it lasted a lot better. So I just, I want to put, the whole point of doing these videos is to, you know, give you my experience is to, as I'm learning or finding out information is to educate. This one has slightly a sooty smell to it, so I won't put it in the crock. You can see up close, you see, it just, originally when I put it in the, the hurricane, it had changed colors. So I have one more of these. This opened my eyes to lavender and sweet. And my new favorite scent is pink lavender and espresso. This has a similar tone to me. And it's the type of lavender that I can tolerate. I'm not very much into like the botanical or the herbal side of lavender that like people love it for like relaxing, going to bed like chamomile lavender. That's just not for me, but this is, I love it. This is an old one, Pepper Plum. This one is from 2017. Um, I, I have two, I have a backup of this one. And holding on to it, it's one of my older candles. You may say, hey, Emily, how come this is in your empties with all that wax? Well, you guys, these wicks were crazy. These wicks were on fire. These, <laughs> the first burn, it never didn't have any issues. It pulled out within like 12, 15 minutes. It was pulled out completely. This thing is a powerhouse on cold. Like I, I crocked this for two weeks and I still have some fragrance in it, but it, it's not fragrant to my house, you know? And so I don't want to just keep it because I can smell some on the wax. It's not adding anything to my house. So it was time to pull it. But this thing was an, an eight, eight and a half, nine on cold. This thing was over, it was like a 12 out of 10 when it was burning and crocking. I had to put it, it was perfect for the, the concept, the open concept. It was just so fragrant, which it's delicious. It just was so strong for a bedroom, you know. Um, now that you guys have seen the pictures, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like now. The wicks, I cut the wicks flush when it like I stopped burning it when when it looked like it did and let it kind of solidify and then I cut the wicks you know to be even with the wax and then I put this in the crock because they were they they, they were like this long and Bath and Body Works I normally don't trim right out the gate because I don't know as soon as you do that you get the puny wicks so I usually haven't had to and these ones just burned and they didn't have like the mushroom tops but they started curling like they wanted to fall into the wax and again, this is from 2017, it's pretty old. You guys, it was just like black. Just, it, the, I don't know if it's the blend of wax. I don't know if it's just the wicks. It didn't do well burning. It did way better in the crock. I don't even want to burn my, my second one. I'm going to just crock it and let it go for two weeks straight, 24 seven, and just fragrant and enjoy the fragrance because there's no point in having a disaster happen with those wicks. It felt unsafe. They they just didn't look good and the wax you saw it it looked terrible now the soot in this one has kind of you know it spread itself amongst the whole chunk of wax so it doesn't look that bad right now but i'm telling you like when i when i solidified it was just this thing was black on top i've never had a bath and body works candle do that to me before 
I've had an old Kringle, like an old soy blend Kringle three wick do that to me before at the end of its life. This, it was such a bad, bad burning experience and I'm heartbroken. I really wanted to like enjoy the ambiance with the fragrance. However, we have to be safe. So put it out, crock it. I'll crock the second one. The next one, blueberry lemon sour. This is another one from like the lavender marshmallow collection. This one actually came back to its color somewhat. It, this same thing happened. I had it in a hurricane and it just, it got really murky. The scent started smelling burned. So I just, I took it out of the hurricane, let it solidify. And you see where those wicks went? So I crocked this candle. That's why when you crock a candle, you can never burn it. Once it goes to the crock, that's where it goes until the end of its life, until you're done. It, it kind of saved it. It was smelling very, very good. This one I had in there for just this little bit of wax for like three or four days. I don't leave my crocks on overnight. I'm too scared of a fire. I don't know. So I don't. I turn mine off, but when I go to bed and, and then when we wake up, we turn it back on. And it, it was like a good three, three or four days. So... It was a good candle. You guys, this is delicious. It's, it's lemon forward, not so much the blueberry. Really, this is lemon blueberry sour. Because <laughs> there's that hint of artificial blueberry. It wasn't cloying. It just smells like candy. Oh, what is it called? One of those lemon heads? That's what it smells like. Lemon head candy to me. All right, moving on. Oh, okay. I'm in love with Homeworks candles. Every single Homeworks candle, except for this one. I have had an amazing experience. Harry Slotkin hands down has this ability to put fragrance together that is like any other. His candles hands down are all good. The only issue candle I have, which, you know, there's going to be one, tiramisu. Right when I opened it, you guys, there, it just, it smells like wax. Right when I opened it, I couldn't smell anything. Then I let it sit in my house for a little bit. Although I don't think you should have to do that when you're spending money on a candle that you want to burn. This one smelled like nothing. My husband and I, when I opened it, I could smell some tiramisu. It's my favorite dessert and it's a light dessert. It's not like this highly fragrant dessert. It's, it's a delicious, it's fluffy and it's airy. And so a month later when we opened it, I could smell that. I could smell it. So I thought, you know what? I'll burn it in my bedroom. You guys, I burned it twice and it had nothing. It literally was just the ambience of the candle. I did get use out of this. This candle, I put it on high power right there under my candle lamp. And I never spent the time to pour it off because it, it had a little bit for maybe a day and then it was gone. So anyway, after about a day, I smelled it. Put, put something in there, mixed it around, got some of the wax from the bottom to smell it. I couldn't smell anything. It's just not worth it to me. So the only candle that I've ever had from Homeworks, and I have a bunch that I had no throw. I'm chalking it up to this one because everyone after that or before that has been incredible. So well, let's give it a good review. So speaking of good candles, Homeworks by Slacken & Co's Blueberry Cheesecake it's probably hands down one of my new favorite candles of all time. This thing burned like a freaking champ. It started changing a little bit of colors at the end. And that's my fault because I um, let this one burn and burn and burn. It was like a little bit thicker than this. I don't, you can't see it. I don't think it's barely there. It was just a little bit thicker than this one and this layer. And it was like six hours later, it was still going. And I thought it's time. It still has some fragrance. These candles will go and go and go and go. And one day I'm going to let it. <laughs> but um, I have some backups of this one and rightfully so. This one should always be available. I hopefully he always keeps it. Right now it is available on um, slackkinetco.com. It's, it's wonderful. These are pretty pricey. They're $30 vessels normally, but he always has some type of discount. Look at the blueberries. It's just this photorealism. Um labels the vessel is just so beautiful yeah totally worth it for homework that's why i was so sad about the sorry for reaching back that's why i was so sad about the tiramisu because i've been you know loving loving their candles okay moving on i finally got through this large jar from candleberry vanilla crumb cake got to the end this thing burned for like three weeks straight and there's still a little bit of fragrance, but I crocked it at the end. It didn't like it. I didn't like what it smelled like in the crock. I don't think that this is a great one to warm for my experience. 
but it burned beautifully. You guys look at it. It went down. I just, I wanted to finish it and start something new. So I was like, let's crock it. <laughs> I will try it under a candle warmer because the crock goes from the bottom and the sides and it heats the whole wax where the lamp acts like, you know, like the candle wick essentially without burning and it, it melts it like layer by layer. If I'm ever wanting to do that again, I have one more of these jars of this uh, scent, but I have several of the small jars, which will be easier for me to get through. And then I also have the 160 ounce monster cookie jar, which that one I'll burn forever. All right, the next one I have is from Kringle. It's a medium two wick cherry chai. Um, I haven't seen too many people review this, but I love it. I have a large one. This is, it's perfect for my room. I'm a cherry lover. I'm a Tom Ford Lost Cherry girl. This reminds me a lot of it. It's delectable. It's delicious. It's not heavy on the spice. It's cherry forward, but yeah, it's good. She's really good. Now, this one was the one I was telling you about that kind of worried me because as I got down to this point, those wicks started moving and they got, they're pretty close to each other. They weren't this close and off centered like as they are. Beautiful burn. I don't know if any of you guys burn Kringle candles that watch my video. Can you give me some suggestions about that? I don't know. I don't know about that, but I would repurchase this and it's actually available on the Kringle website, you guys, and it is on sale. It's a clearance sale, so I think it's going away, which I'm really sad about, but long are the days, I mean, are they though? If I'm getting two marshmallow, lavender marshmallows. But longer the days of me going on and, and freaking out with FOMO and buying. I know they're clearancing this out. I have a large two-week tumbler. It takes a long time to get through their tumblers. So there's stuff that I'm going to work towards finishing and not just burn it all at once. Um, I really wish this wouldn't go away, but I don't think it's doing that well. So it's on sale for the large two-week is 21 when they're normally 31. And um, these guys are normally 27 and it's 18. It smells so good. I, I honestly want like a whole, just like an, my own cubby of this scent. But the thing is, is I've heard that soy wax doesn't stay as good as the soy blend, like Bath and Body Works. You know, they can last you for, I have 10 year old candles that still smell really strong, but you know, with soy that you just want to get through them. And so it's just, it's not worth it. <laughs> When you see one of my reserve candles though during the collection, you're gonna be like, okay, I'm like hypocrite. This is a new reserve candle that just came out at the beginning of the year in January from Kringle Candle. They have this line called Reserve Line and it's limited quantities of fragrances that are put together with higher quality fragrance oils, more expensive. They're $3 more than the large two wig tumbler. This is a large, two wick tumbler. It's the same size as their large two wick, but it comes in this beautiful black vessel that is, you can see through it. Like I know with my camera, you can't tell. Um, but when burning, you can see the flame. Oh, you can kind of maybe, you'll see the flame going down. I think that's a safety thing. I'm glad that they have that because I can only imagine if this was just a pure black, like you might forget once it gets down here that it's burning. California Cab, you guys, at first, when I first smelled this, I love wine scents, so I was like, I'm going to get it. One thing I've noticed is a lot of times I get really grape, like grape juice. And when I first got this, I smelled it and I go, oh, it's grape. I was looking for a wine cellar type-esque with like maybe the oak where you're like walking into the wine cellar with that glass of Cabernet and you're just, you know, it's not like sweet grapes. It's just this deep, dark, delicious wine. So I wasn't too excited, but I was, I was like, I'm just going to burn it. I bought one. I'm just going to burn it. It was actually the first cranial candle that I tried. You guys, I was, I'm in heaven. I have many of these. They still have these available on the Kringle website. I would honestly buy them out of stock if I could. I really would. My husband loves this. My whole family loves this scent. It is strong. The, this one, when you open it, it's like a seven, an eight on cold. This thing I had it burning in my room. I had to take it out to the kitchen. It will fill my house up. It's so strong. It's so good. You can smell the oak. It really transforms into this. If you're a wine cellar fan or you're a wine person, try it. 
If you're interested, you love candles, just try it and let it pull out. Oh my gosh, it's like the most beautiful burn, you guys. It was so easy to clean out. I burned it all the way down. You know, it has some of the schmutz on there. Oh, it's beautiful. And my husband is actually gonna keep this vessel. He wants to use it for his office. He just will remove this label, which I love. He'll clean it out and use this vessel because it's so pretty. It's phenomenal. It's the best burn I've ever had in any candle, hands down from any company. It's 100% soy, it's clean. The, the wicks were well maintained throughout. I had no issues with it. All the way down, it gave me the same strength and throw all the way down. It was this this dark wine, dark grape, um, Concord grape, if you will. It just was just this deep, dark fruit, fruity scent mixed with oak. It's just beautifully done. It's just beautifully done. Wine cellar, when I smell it now, it's got more of a perfume scent to it not quite body care but it has this like perfumey and it's strong wine cellar from bath and body works is strong this one though oh it's it's delicious i i say if i would recommend this 10 out of 10 recommend it this one was my husband's candle i have rubbed off on my husband and my daughter um, this is coffee and whiskey by bath and body works this is the neutral lines candle he actually loved this one so much that he has I think another one back up one or two that he asked for me to get him because he really really loved this it burned like a bath and body works candle you know his candle care is okay he, he has started trimming his wicks this burned all the way down and to the wick clips until it self-extinguished in his office it's really good it's not what i expected it doesn't smell like coffee at all to me uh they have notes on here bold whiskey splash of vanilla and hint of coffee yeah it's got a whiskey tone to it, but it's more of like a perfume. Like you could wear this scent and I think it's in body care. And so I don't know though. I, I, I have never bought it in body care or any other form. Just the candle for him. I've rubbed off on them. So he has his own collection. All the candles you saw of mine were mine. He still has his own in his office. He's It's like a bedroom and it's got a closet and there's a whole top shelf and he's got candles. But he's got the candles that are some of my luxury candles, like Diptyque's Vanilla Candle. He's more of a Palo Santo, Fireside, the Vanilla Candle from Diptyque. He loves that smoky. He has the Autumn Candle right now burning. Um, he's not a seasonal burner. He loves apple scents. So that Autumn Candle is just incredible. So he's got that one burning. He burns whatever he wants, whenever he wants. And this is a good candle. It's a good candle for me though. Um, not my favorite. So I'm really glad that he enjoys it because I would have ended up having to sell it because it, it kind of smells like it would give me a headache over time, but he loves it. So he burns it when he's at work during the day. He works from home. Next one, unicorn sprinkles, you guys. This was from Candle Day 2022. This, this one, you guys, is fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, sugared lemon, with natural essential oils. I put these up for sale on Mercari. One sold right away for the full price that I listed it. And then I thought, okay, let me just keep one. Let me burn it. So I grabbed one, took it off Mercari, burned it. You guys, I forgot how much I love this candle. It was kind of light, you know, it's light on cold. I would say it's like a four, a five, but it burned in my open concept. You just, it has this, it's not like this bakery scent, you know, it's a sugary sweet scent but it's not cloying and it, it adds value to other scents that you have burning. And so I burned it and you guys, I never trimmed the wicks. Look at that, it's not that terrible. The wax is not that discolored. It burned down to wick clips, I can see them. And I thought, this is an incredible candle. It has those, the wicks that I like from Bath and Body Works that burn really well. And so I sold the one and I pulled the rest back in. I'm just, I'm gonna not hold them, I'm gonna burn them. It was another one of my favorites like Wine Cellar. But I'm gonna I'm gonna burn them because there's there's gonna be other scents out there that that grab I gravitate towards. And then when Bath and Body Works decides to bring this one back out, I will definitely purchase one because that's what I need to do. I keep smelling these candles. I pray look <laughs> crazy. Okay. All right. Let's look at the disaster of strawberry pound cake. I I've been holding on to this one. It was is I bought it in spring of 2023. The scent notes are fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. This one I had in a hurricane, and it's the one that didn't do well. I, I don't know if this is just how Bath and Body Works candle burned, or 
if it was the hurricane just added, it started changing colors and at, this is at the halfway mark and it just lost its scent. So it's not even worth crocking. Um, I get like the slightest hint, but you couldn't smell it. It just wasn't. And, and I've heard that strawberry pound cake is a powerhouse and I just, I didn't get it in here. And so I was upset about that and I sold the other one like this and I sold my white barn one. I'm sad about that. So I, I'm going to be mindful about some of these non-white barn candles because the white barn candles tend to do well in hurricanes and it increases the strength and throw. But these are the Bath and Body Works pours that have like the half labels for $24.95. It didn't do well and you can just see it. So I, I wouldn't recommend this. I'll try the regular white barn one and let you guys know if that one was any better because I really want a good strawberry pound cake scent. Same thing happened with ice lemon pound cake. The difference was I started recognizing it earlier so I pulled it and put it into the crock for two days. It's gone. There's nothing. After two days, there was no scent left. This one, the wicks just never even moved on this one, but I did crock it. I ended up selling the other one of these that I had. So sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, whipped cream. I believe this is coming out again with Bath & Body Works and Body Care. And I'm assuming in the candle, if it, if it came out in the white barn package, then maybe because it smells like it would be really good. The problem I had is when I was burning it, it smelled burnt, like it was burned ice lemon pound cake. And a lot of people don't have that experience. So I'm gonna chalk it up to maybe, because it was it was burning well. Um, it's not, I mean, it's got some soot in there because like I said, I think that hurricane made it just a little too hot, but I could be wrong. It could just be because this is a Bath and Body Works candle and this is just what you get. But one of the wicks, you won't be able to see it. Let's see. I can get it. Can you see how short those are? I didn't cut these. So it was going to puny on me. Puny wick. Which really bothers me because some of your candles do good, Bath and Body Works. Not that you're watching my videos, but if you ever do, like figure out, like why, why do some of your candles have those wicks that work beautifully and burn flawlessly at the right temperature and don't develop a bunch of carbon? That soot a little bit. That's a candle for you. But like why... I'm, I'm a positive person, but it just frustrates me because we buy, I spent money on, on these and I'm getting really poor performances and it's not something that I should have to put up with. And now that I've explored Homeworks and Kringle, it's like, I'm realizing I don't have to put up with it, you know, and I'm not going to, I'm not saying I'm excluding Bath and Body Works. I love Bath and Body Works. It'll always have my heart. There's scents there that I love. And there's, I just have to be more mindful about the wicks of what I'm buying. And if they have those tree stump wicks, then even if it's a scent that I love, unless it's a really steep sell, I could put it in a crock or a lamp, but not burn. I just, I've learned so much over the years, especially over watching Candle Community and then experiencing it myself. Like, okay, I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm really trying to do candle care and take care of these candles and they're not performing for me. Okay, next one was one that I love and it burned flawlessly while Berry Jam Donut. It had the tree trunk wicks. You just had to make sure to trim the carbon balls off the top. It burned hot. It didn't really get sooty. The wax is clean and I love it. Sweet Wildberry Jam Powder Donut Brown Sugar Crumble. Really, really good. Really, really good. I have several other ones of these ones. Um, they still have them for sale at my Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure why this one's not selling out. It's so good, you guys. It's like raspberry filled fried donuts. Oh, I love it. I love it and I want more of it and I can't. All right. Um, right. We're almost done. I know I'm getting pretty, pretty far in there. I have three more candles and some wallflowers. And so I have this Yankee Candle Cotton Candy. Um, I just got this one this year. The reason why you see this is I made a mistake and they're wicks. You know, they, these will get sooty. It's just expected with this type of jar, but I just sometimes love the apothecary jar and like this candy concept wasn't in any other jar and it was throwing really well. It just had this yummy, just sugary scent in my room. It was beautiful for my room. It's kind of light. I can still smell some of it. The issue that I had is I trimmed the wick too short, so it punied out. So this lived its rest of its life in the crock and still has a slight good smell to it. The problem is, is it smelled weird when it was warmed in the crock. So again, I got a 
candle lamp now that is adjustable that I'm able to do these larger jars, taller jars um, now. But this is a really good one. I do have one more of this one and I'm hoping that I can burn it properly and not trim the wick so short. I think I was just worried that it was gonna start sitting and get too hot and it really needs, it only has one wick to burn this paraffin. And as it was melting, it just, you know, it was too short. So you live and you learn. Let's see if you can see it. Do you see where that wick is? Look what happened to it. It just got really short. So it was actually my first candle that I crocked. All right, three more homework. Iced sugar cookie. I love this one burned beautifully I will say though that you see what it what I did there that was me it's it's got a good amount of wax left and maybe I should have lamped it but you know I'm just like impatient with trying to get through some of my collection that it's like time there's like this much left of it it started at the end it has this wonderful scent it's sugar cookie buttercream icing and sweet vanilla brown sugar it's it's yummy and I have it in the big 80 ounce a uh, candle with the five wicks that I'm going to burn and I heard really good things about. This one was really good up until this point. So the last burn that I did, it started smelling burned. Like I had burned cookies. Now on cold right now, uh, uh, it smells, it still smells good. It smells like sugar cookies. So there's a part of me that wants to throw it under the lamp and use up, let it, let it just kind of, let the fragrance oils just like fill up my room. Then I'll throw it up. This is actually an all year round scent. You can, these are just those shrink wrapped wrap around labels, which are so beautiful by the way. But um, if you wanna, you know, if you're feeling the baking mood or whatever and having a baking set, you just score this in carefully, don't cut yourself. And you know, it removes, it's just a wrap and um, you could burn it all year round. For Valentine's day, I did homeworks, chocolate covered kiss candle and it smells like, for, it's like, I wonder where he, how Harry Slatkin did this. It smells like an authentic juicy strawberry. Like the fruit. I wish the chocolate was a little bit more heavy, but on, on initial burn, it, it smelled like more chocolate. And then as it went through, I just smelled like the juicy sweet strawberries. I got this one at TJ Maxx. And I, I would have bought another one if I could. It was the only one there. It burned so well, you guys. Look how clean that is. I love that candle. I just love it. And then one of my tried and trues, hot cider donut. I have several of these. I'm not gonna lie, probably four. And I would buy more. It was really hard for me because they were on sale the other day for $19 and I didn't do it. I didn't do it because I don't need to, but but I hope that he keeps it in, in the um, inventory and like all year round because this is hands down my favorite donut scent and I love it. it's just fried donut with sugar. Oh, it's so good. Fragrance notes, harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, spice cider. It's not even, it's, you can burn it in the fall or all year round and I will. And I love it. Oh, I, I want to keep smelling. Okay. Last but not least, I have several little wallflowers. I don't get too deep into them. I'll just show you um, because I have a huge collection that I'm trying to get rid of some on Mercari, um, but I wanna also use up the plugs that I have because they're good for about a year or maybe two. People probably push it farther. I, I don't like to use those plugs longer than that. They start to spill oil down the side anyway, fire hazard. But this is Island Margarita is one that I had for February. They're kind of random. These are the ones that I kept little tags. Palo Santo, Vanilla Bean Noel. This one's a powerhouse and I have that in the kitchen. It smells like baked vanilla and brown sugar. It's really good. Sweet tea and lemonade. This one, I've gone through three of them. Pink lavender and espresso. I just don't have the tags. Cuddle weather and last butterfly. Okay, you guys. Well, that's it for all of my empties. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful that you, if you stuck around to this point that you did, I hope that some of my opinions or my descriptions, um, you know, will help you in your journey of burning up candles or making a selection when you want to buy a candle. And I love comments. So please like, comment if you can, subscribe if you want to. I would love you to be a part of this candle nurse family and continuing on with this content and thank you guys so much for joining me and we'll see you next time bye